Hello Scorpio, my name is Ricky and this is your three month reading. We start with a theme for the next three months and it is the Queen of Swords. This is the queen that is very intelligent. She's very good with speech, uses her words very precisely. Um, there's a sense here of debate and there's also a sense here of nurturing intelligence and others, nurturing others' abilities to essentially think, right? Um, now, the surrounding cards paint uh, a pretty nice picture. We've got the Five of Cups and the Four of Wands, and we have here an understanding of what's going on. Um, I feel, Scorpio, that a lot of you, with this Five of Cups energy showing up, are going through some kind of emotional distress. And so you're being asked by the tarot cards to give in to this distress, give in to this emotional disturbance in order to come out of it, right? Um, there's a lot that you're going to create and a lot that's going to happen in the next three months, evident by the Four of Wands. We have here a Pharaoh that is being crowned by the, by, by the gods and also being essentially worshipped by his people. We have the uh, River of the Nile in the back, which um, essentially there's a lot of work to be done here. And the fact that it's reversed tells us that there still is a lot of work to be done. It's important for you in the next three months, Scorpio, to focus on those emotional distresses. If there are any, sometimes, you know, when we're going through something, we tend to self-sabotage. We tend to dig a bigger hole for ourselves. We tend to run to people that aren't good for us. And so it's important for you to step out of that, get out of that cycle. The Queen of Swords gives you a solution. She's asking you to write. She's asking you to um, essentially speak. She's asking you to think logically about things. You know, this is definitely uh, someone who excels in all of these areas. The Queen of Swords could be a lawyer, a philosopher. Maybe you can find some kind of information uh, within those professions. But in the next three months, I feel you're going to have uh, the time that you need to heal from that the emotional distress. And also it's important because there's definitely a lot of work that's going to be made available to you in the next three, three months, Scorpio, work that you've been asking for, that you've been wanting to be able to create something new. Now, we're gonna throw an Oracle card. We've got here card number 23 going within. The angels are asking you to calm your mind and feel the power of spirit within you is what that card reads. Um, again, you know, we have the card of the mind showing up, right? The Queen of Swords, she's got a calm mind. You know, she doesn't let her emotional distress or emotional disturbances get a hold of her mind. She is able to think clearly. So that is what's being asked of you, Scorpio. You got this.